really try look even for me personally my character never try to track my attack my character they'll say he a rat or he just a snap yeah all you gotta do is ask him who i told him paperwork i ain't never told him no in my life yeah and the premium situation look at this case It'll tell you who told on Right. My name ain't in that case. Innocent or guilty, criminal or citizen, that could get them any time for any crime. Say, look, if it's a, sir, did, did, did you see such and such and such, do such and such and such? Oh, wait a minute. Only time. The only time. Show me one place what in I the think. federal guidelines <laughs> where you can have 10 machine and get one year of community right. service and one year incarcerated. I said, how you feel when them New York and shit like 50 and all them niggas be trying to do all that old I, I'ma tell you something. When you're fighting a man with no arms, expect to get kicked. Okay, y'all, if you know anything about 50 Cent, you already know getting on his bad side is a huge mistake. And T.I. learned that the hard way when 50 Cent started dragging him through the mud over these long-standing snitching allegations. T.I. has been stuck with that label for years, and he faced major disrespect from his peers. And, of course, 50 was one of the loudest voices. At first, T.I. tried to play it cool and brush off 50 shots, but things got messier over time, and T.I. started firing shots at 50. Now you'd think T.I. would know better than to poke the bear, but he went and challenged 50 to a 20 track versus battle, even offering it up for 50's birthday. And of course, this only made 50 even more petty. He went and dug up that old 2008 Crime Stoppers ad where T.I. was encouraging people to report crimes, and the internet went wild over that one. But here's the kicker. 50 and Tip actually used to be cool. They worked together on tracks and everything, and they've both done very well for themselves. But despite all that success, the snitching allegations still haunt T.I. And 50, along with others, just can't seem to let it go. Even recently, rumors started flying that T.I. was supposedly up for the role of Davis McLean in power, but didn't get it because of his beef with 50. Now T.I. has tried to shut this rumor down, saying it's not true, and that he and 50 are cool and have a lot of respect for each other. But 50 is yet to confirm this. But how did T.I. end up with this snitching rep that keeps 50 and others at arm's length? How exactly did things go so wrong between 50 and Tip, and what's really going on between them today? Let's break this all down. See what I'm saying? Um, what they talking about, they try to use that I need to order protection, but why Why it feels like I'm the out here then? Mm. If <laughs> I right. needed protection, right. you needed protection, and your protection gone. So 50 and T.I. go way back, and their drama is nothing new. Aside from throwing shade at him all over social media, 50's beef with T.I. seems to boil down to a few things. First, T.I.'s non-stop begging for a versus showdown. And let's not forget, T.I. also stirred the pot by talking smack about East Coast rappers like 50, especially over that infamous Crime Stoppers ad. Back in 2007, Tip was in some serious hot water after getting busted on gun charges and staring down the hard barrel of a 20-year prison sentence. So he decided to make a public service announcement urging people to help fight crime. Yeah, you heard that right. He was trying to clean up his image after his arrest. Hey, what's happening, y'all? Some people call me Till, but this is about another kind of Till that can help our mothers, our sisters, our brothers, and our fathers help get the perpetrators who commit crimes against them off the streets. All you gotta do is call Crime Stoppers Atlanta. Tips can be anonymous, and there's even a reward. The number of the Crime Stoppers Atlanta is 404. 577-8477. That's 404 577 till Channel 2 Community Coverage. Now you already know this ad rubbed a lot of TI's industry peers the wrong way, and they were quick to slap him with the snitch label. And of course, 50 Cent was one of the first ones to jump on that train. 50 first threw some shots at TI on G Unit's track, You So Tough, where he raps, get knocked with 10 machine guns, only get 12 months. Ooh wee, don't talk to me, you talk to him, you talking to them. I got the best lawyers money can buy. They said they would have got me 10 or maybe nine. I said, how do you explain how homie Breeze. They said, keep your mouth shut or you eat the cheese. So here, 50 was referencing that whole situation from 2007 when T.I. was a no-show at the BET Hip Hop Awards. Just hours before he was set to hit the stage, T.I. was arrested on federal charges and turns out his bodyguard, who was secretly working as an informant, handed over three machine guns and two silencers to T.I. after T.I. forked over $12,000 for them. Now here's the kicker. T.I. was a convicted felon, so obviously he wasn't allowed to own those weapons. But although he eventually 
pleaded guilty, his sentence was surprisingly light. Just a year of house arrest, 1,500 hours of community service, and an undefined prison term. Enter 50 Cent, pointing out on You So Tough that with the best legal team money could buy, you typically be looking at a solid 9 to 10 years behind bars for crimes like these. But somehow, T.I. dodged that fate. So basically, 50 was insinuating that T.I.'s miraculous deal must have come with some serious strings attached. Like maybe T.I. had to do a little snitching in exchange for a lighter sentence. So shortly after You So Tough came out, 50 was asked about this situation in an interview. And he said it's up to the public to decide whether he was talking about T.I. or not. But if you read between the lines, 50 was implying that people already labeled T.I. as the snitch. And he didn't even have to mention his name. You So Tough. Uh, to everyone listening to it is an awesome song. Listen carefully, as you don't have to even listen that carefully. Yeah. There's a line in there directed at another rapper in the game. Oh yeah, yeah. What line? What rapper is on? It was it was a line that has you questioning that you have. Is it true you have the best lawyers in the game? I feel like I do. Okay. And and you asked them a question that if you got caught with ten. Uh, weapons in your car, you would have seen 10 years, what, maybe what, nine. What makes you feel like there's a line to a rapper? Yeah. It when seem to be very coincidental with the timing of things that are going on. That's like, Will yeah. you deliver the line for me one second? I don't want to do it injustice. Exactly. You use real life situations to create something that's entertaining without being specific. That's entertainment to me. Like if I had an issue, when have you known me to be indirect? with an issue. Oh, you're pretty direct. Right, so if I had a problem with any artist, trust me, they would know. You see what I'm saying? When I take it and I write that, it's because a lot of people think that. Yeah. And they're not saying it because they're cowardly yeah. people. You see what I'm saying? So when you write it and you put it there and you leave it and say, watch, let me watch and see what happens. And there's so much controversy around it, you didn't say anything. Then you go, see, they think that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just won't say it to them because they're a bunch of punks. Yeah. Will you drop the line for me, that line that starts off with um, about having the best lawyers in the game? I got the best lawyers money can buy. They said it would have got me 10 or maybe 9. I said, well, how do you explain how homie breeze? I said, you keep your mouth shut or you eat, eat the, the cheese. cheese. You so tough. Are you telling me that's not directed to the specific rap? Well, I can't. With my, no intentions, with my intentions, if I have a problem, you know, me, my MO, and I would just say something. <laughs> You know, so it's not really directed at him. It's me taking real life situations that these things are relevant to hip hop, period. You see what I'm saying? So I take it and I make something that's interesting enough for people to sink their teeth into and then I move forward. If you had beef, then we make it beef. Can you understand? Well, I, you know me, I'm direct too. Yeah. Is that line about T.I.? Absolutely for the public to decide. Now, as for T.I., he was also asked about this right around the time G-Unit dropped You So Tough. And it seemed like back then, he was still ready to give 50 the benefit of the doubt. Although, let's be real, T.I. really couldn't afford to fight back at this time because the feds were watching him. But how do you, like, how are you dealing with when, like, the 50 cents are coming at you? Well, I mean, honestly, man, like, to be perfectly honest with you, man, I gotta take, I gotta deal with each situation as high he come out of the person's mouth. You can misinterpret songs, lyrics, you know what I'm saying? When you're being interviewed and someone asks you, how do you feel about this? I gotta take that, take that, that. I gotta take your, your, your verbal rather than listen to your lyrics and jump to a conclusion. And when I heard him speaking on it, he said he wasn't talking about me, you know what I'm saying? He, and me and 50 always had a decent rapport, you know? It wasn't never nothing negative. So, and like he said, he said it's in conversation. At the same time, he said, man, he, he's never had a problem with saying people's names when he's speaking on them. And not, like, that's not like 50. If he going at somebody, he usually say their name and make it known. It's usually not ever uh, whether or not, you know what I'm saying? And so, I think that it's just unnecessary to jump to a conclusion and, you know, create an issue where there is none. But you already know it was only a matter of time until this drama resurfaced again. So fast forward to 2020 and that Crime Stoppers video with T.I. resurfaced online. And this was right around that whole drama with Takashi 69 and his racketeering case when he testified against two alleged nine Trey members. So when 50 Cent caught wind of T.I.'s Crime Stoppers ad, he couldn't resist throwing shit 
Shade, and he wrote on Twitter, this is the first song I'ma play, You So Tough. 50 was referencing T.I. challenging him to a versus battle, and his tweet included the infamous Crime Stoppers video, as well as an audio clip of You So Tough. And it didn't take long for T.I. to take the bait. He jumped right into the comment section to clap back at 50's post, and he was quick to deny any snitching claims, insisting that he never helped the authorities take down anyone. But he didn't stop there. He also implied that 50 might be projecting and wondered if 50 has something to confess about his own rumored snitching past. Tip wrote, the video clip is cute, in poor taste, but cute. However, I prefer facts. I've never given any information to any form of law enforcement to get nobody no time for no crime, ever. 50 Cent, can you say the same? But T.I. didn't stop there. He then shared 50's post on his IG and wrote a long caption, again, challenging 50 to a versus battle. Tip wrote, I'll take this as an acceptance of his catalog challenge. We got him, he bit the bait. Set this ish up so I can finally shut this watermelon head, invisible neck ninja up once and for all. T.I. then again claimed he never snitched on anybody, writing, as far as this clip goes, it's cute, old, outdated, and in poor taste, much like your catalog, 50 Cent. However, I prefer facts, and the fact remains, I have never given any information to any form of law enforcement at any time in life to get anybody any time for any crime. Supreme told me to ask 50 Cent if he can say the same. Well, that's all I have to say about that. So, let's set this date and select your songs off that one hot album you got, and let's lay your little overrated, outdated, steroid-inflated catalog to rest. R.I.P. to 50 Cent Catalog. I seen you all them NY ninjas for years. Not the king, though. You got the right one. Hashtag bring me the Well, 50 Cent clearly touched a nerve because T.I. just couldn't stop, and he started doing the most trying to clear his name of those snitching allegations. Shortly after he went off on 50 Cent in that IG post, Tip took to Instagram Live where he spoke to comedian Kelly K. Dub Walker, and during their conversation, T.I. again addressed those accusations that he snitched. Like, you see a snitch, slap him when you see him, knock his nose off. So, so next time I'm out, instead of asking for a picture, like a little hoe ass, come on, knock my mother's nose out if you think I'm a snitch. Come on, quit smiling in my face, trying to get in my section. Don't play with me, you think you're talking to Play with your name. King never gave no information to get anybody in no for now time with no police. If I am working with the police, it'll be to get him to shoot you. She talking about <laughs> play with me. But y'all, you already know it didn't end there. T.I. still wasn't done talking, and he brought up that infamous Crime Stoppers commercial again during an interview on the Big Facts podcast. And when they asked him how he feels about people calling him a rat because of the ad, Tip doubled down and stood by his previous comments, saying, Well, I'm gonna tell you this. If there was another commercial that I could shoot to tell people who were law-abiding citizens to call the police if crime is happening in their area and it would keep me from doing 10 years for some that I was using to protect myself if I could make that video again in that same circumstance I would do it time and time again I ain't that gangster I ain't that gangster I'm not that gangster I ain't finna tell on nobody. I ain't finna take no stand. I ain't wanna get nobody locked up. I ain't finna do nothing that gonna cost nobody no time. But how you feel when them new niggas be like, man, them tilt, man, all the shit. Man, hey, we on the bullshit. You been drinking, I been drinking. And then when they specifically asked him how he feels about New York rappers like 50 Cent throwing shade at that ad, Tib had this to say. Hey, I we don't count, fuck I, I don't even know, I don't know what you're talking about. I uh, said, how you feel when them New York like 50 and all them niggas be trying to do all that old? I, I'ma tell you something. When you're fighting a man with no arms, expect to get kicked. Do what they can. What they can. Go with whatever they can to hurt you. Whatever they feel will hurt you. What they don't know is, I don't give a I am at peace with myself. I know who I am. I know what I've done. I know what I haven't done. I ain't got nothing to be ashamed of. I walk around with my head up, with my chest out. I be by myself most of the time. I don't give a 
about how nobody feel about me. If they really didn't like it, they would approach me with their anger and get met with equal opposite action. I count six shots. And this is when 50 Cent finally decided to clap back. And about a week after T.I.'s interview aired, 50 hopped on Instagram and in a now deleted post, he reposted that clip from the interview and had a few words of his own saying, this was a week ago. This ninja was telling me about a comedy show he working on backstage. I don't like all this kind of ish. It wouldn't be a good idea to come around me again. Respectfully, stay away from me. As if the drama wasn't already messy enough, things got even more heated after King Von's death. Tip made some comments that rubbed people the wrong way and 50 was one of the first to call him out. T.I. decided to weigh in on the violence happening in Atlanta just days after Chicago rapper King Vaughn and two others were killed in the city on November 6, 2020. Tip wrote, Atlanta is a beautiful progressive city filled with black excellence. We uplift each other and win together. Stop coming here to kill each other. That is just played out. He captioned the post, handle your beefs in your city. Thanks in advance, King. And this is when 50 Cent decided to check T.I. again. 50 shared an Instagram story posted by King Vaughn's sister Kayla, who asked 50 to step in on the family's behalf. Kayla wrote, and these are facts, but the energy he always putting in people business need to be the same energy he need to make it right with his daughter. No way is my brother 50 Cent get on his ass. So when 50 caught wind of Kayla's IG story, he addressed T.I. saying, you gotta chill. You bugging for saying anything. They got casualties. This is real ish. I don't know what you was thinking, but rethink it now. They are hurting. They love that boy. He was a way out. I bet you don't even realize they will kill you for what you just said. What hood you from again? Come on now, it's quiet time. Now T.I. did get quiet for a minute after this, but you know he couldn't stay silent for long. So rumors started swirling recently that Tip was close to landing a role in 50 Cent's Power Universe, but supposedly lost the gig because he kept taking shots at 50. Of course T.I. had to jump back in to clear things up, denying that his beef with 50 had anything to do with losing that role. So this all kicked off when Gianni Paolo, who plays Braden Weston on Power, talked to TMZ about rumors that T.I. T.I. was supposed to play Davis McLean, the slick attorney who's now portrayed by none other than Method Man. And according to Michael Rainey Jr., who plays Tariq, they showed up on set one day and Method Man was just there. No heads up, nothing. And guess what? The whispers behind the scenes suggested that some feud between 50 and T.I. might have led to Method Man sliding into the role instead of Tip. But when T.I. caught wind of this gossip, he hopped on Tony the Closer's podcast to set the record straight. He insisted that there was no truth to the rumors about him being cast as Davis McLean. And he claimed that he and 50 actually have a lot of respect for each other. You and 50 got a beef or something, man? Because I, <laughs> nah. I, seen, I seen a post today <clears throat> where they were saying that you were supposed to be in, uh, I guess, one of the power, uh, what's the name? I guess two of the actors on the show said that you were actually supposed to be on the show and then they replaced <laughs> you with Method Man and they weren't expecting it or something. No, like that. that's never, that's not true. 50 and I, uh, we were executive producers on a different show outside of the power universe. Um, but nah, man, me and 50 cool, we just, I'm the only one who's not offended by his brass approach, and he's not offended by mine. So, you know, we play rough, but we ain't no, ain't no issue. Uh, it's a mutual respect, though. But while T.I. was out here praising 50, 50 stayed silent, and he didn't bother to confirm or deny that their respect was mutual. And while 50 Cent isn't exactly out here dragging T.I. like he's been doing with other targets lately, we all know 50. He never forgets a beef, even if he's laying low for now. So don't be surprised if this tension pops up again between these two, because with 50, it's only a matter of time. As for fans, you know how it is. They've picked their side, and they're sticking to it. One fan said, you can be a non-cooperating snitch where you direct police to a situation that they can look at closer in which they get a conviction without the original witness testimony? I'm just saying, I've never in my life seen a one-year sentence, a Crime Stoppers tip commercial, community service, time served, no conviction for a small army worth of guns. I like T.I., but damn, let me get some of those politicians you got under your thumb. If not, then you a snitch. Ninja's got 10 years plus for just one gun, and Tip had 30 plus? What the F? But someone else clapped back saying 50 has no room to talk and added the mouse calling the rat a rodent. But what's your take on this whole back and forth between 50 and T.I.? Do you think 50 was right to call out Tip? Or is this the case of the pot calling the kettle black? Drop a comment below and let me know. And don't forget to check out this next video.